is Sherelle from El Ray Designs and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I put my baby bummies together. Um, if you guys have not watched my previous video, I show you guys how I prepare everything and how I pretty much um, make my own fabric for my bummies um, with sublimation. So I pretty much use my pattern I got off of Etsy and then I print out my design and I sublimate it on my bummies. So I show you that in my last video. So most likely those two should already be up before this one. But now we are going to be putting our bummies together. So I personally like to use a serger. I have the Brother Lock 1034D. It just makes it way more easier and way more cleaner, way more professional than a sewing machine. You still can use a sewing machine. I have one back there. If you use the sewing machine, um, you're going to want to do a zigzag stitch to make it look nice and make sure your product is good and make sure that it stretches properly. If you do a straight stitch, your, um, your, your product isn't going to stretch. So, yeah, so pretty much I always use uh, white thread in mine. The only time I really change it is if I will be using like a solid black pattern, um, which I don't really do too many of that. So we're fine with that. So first part you're going to take is you're going to take the bum parts and you want to put the patterns. You want the... um the patterns to be facing each other so just flip one put it together and we're gonna be sewing the sides on both sides here so you just want to match those up if you need to you could use pins to pin them together I personally like to use these clips right here that I got off of Amazon you don't always have to use them but sometimes they are nice so what I would do would be lined them up as good as I can and then I will just take the clip and clip that and then I will come and I will clip the bottom as well just like so and clip that together like that and then you do the same on the other side um, I've been doing this for a while, so I really don't clip anymore. I just kind of place it here and then pull it to my liking. Also, my settings. I've been using, if you want to know, I usually do either the tension between a 4 or a 5. Um, but I got it on 5 now. And then this is what my 5 settings look like. I don't know. I got this from another video. I just got this probably like not even a month ago. So I'm still learning what everything is. But these are my settings in case anybody wants to know. So once you got that, you're going to make sure, want to make sure you lift your presser foot up. And make sure your needle is up as well. So the knob on the side makes your needle up just like a sewing machine. And I'm just making sure my two sides are together and even. And then I just place it in. I usually place mine. There's lines here. I usually do mine into the second line. Put my presser foot down to hold it. And as you can see, your um your pieces aren't even. So what I do is I hold the back piece and then I pull. Let me show you guys. So I will hold this piece and then I kind of just yank this. I'm gonna pull the top piece down to make sure it's even. And then when you when you surge it, you're gonna just pull it to make sure it's even, it's stretched out properly, and it sews evenly. And it's sort of a bunch, so you don't have one size shorter. So you wanna make sure you are pulling your fabric because this is, like I said, this is stretchy material. And then you just start surging. There is no back stitch or anything with surgeon. So you just use your presser foot and go. You always want to search a little extra because you want to make sure you have a little wing on this part on your fabric you want to have a little wing 
on your serger. So I just cut mine in the middle. I just got these with a pair of sewing scissors that I got off Amazon. I will link that down below for you guys. And then we're gonna go and do the same exact thing to the other side. So now we have our bummies together. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the waistband. So. For the waistband, this is how I remember to do it. What you're gonna do is you are going to take it, you're gonna fold it the hamburger way. So see, not the hot dog way. This is the hot dog way. We're gonna fold it the hamburger way. You're gonna fold the hamburger way in half. And you're gonna match the two ends. And then what we're gonna do after that, now we're gonna fold it again, but this time we're gonna fold it the hot dog way. So it's hamburger, hot dog, hamburger, hot dog. That's how I remember to do it. If you fold it hot dog, hot dog, it ain't gonna work. Hot dog, hamburger, it's not gonna work. So hamburger, hot dog. And then we're gonna take these two sides and just match it up with this way, the hot dog way. You could fold them at the same time, but sometimes our fill is not even. So I just do that, and then I pull this part up, and I kind of just shake it. Like so. So it should look like this. And now we're going to take this part, and we're going to surge along this line here. Again, lift your foot up. Lift your needles up. Place it to the second line, put your presser foot down, and surge. All right. Now, before we open our flip our waistband open, what we're gonna do to make this easier for us, you're gonna leave it how it is. And then you're gonna take a, your little either scissors or if you have this thing here, and you're gonna cut a slit on each corner here. This is gonna be our guide to make sure our waistband gets attached evenly to our bottoms. So just a teeny slit. And then you're gonna flip it open. Just turn it around. like so and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take those two slits that we made we're gonna put those together and then you're gonna line it up with our seam here and then you're gonna pull it and you're gonna make a cut cut here and a cut in that corner so again little slits you don't need nothing big come over here you do the same thing make a slit sometimes you gotta pull the other piece up and make a little slit and that's gonna be our guys to place our waistband on our bummies I'm gonna do the legs last because I want to show you there's two different ways you could do your legs um, you could choose which way you want. So now to line our waistband up, we already had, this is basically gonna be our two guidelines here on the side. And then we need to make two more guidelines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our two seams here. We're gonna line these up together. And then you're gonna make a slit on this side and a slit on this side. This is just gonna make it so you don't get a crooked um, waistband or you don't have enough room. And now your back piece, your back seam isn't lining up properly and all that fun stuff. Okay, so now you need to determine what is the front side of your bummies and what is the back side of your bummies. Your front side is gonna be smaller than your back side. 
So the part that's peeking out back here, that is our backside. That's important because when we put our waistband on, you want your seam here to go in the back. So this I know is gonna go in the back of my bummies when I sew it on. Also important, you make sure you are, if your pattern only goes one way, you need to make sure you are putting your pattern on properly because I have had another pair of bummies that I made where I didn't pay that any mind and then my, um, my waistband and my legs are upside down. So now what you're gonna do is you are going to take your waistband and you're gonna put it inside of your bummies. So I just take it, I throw it inside. Um, make sure your seam is in the back of here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna line everything up. This, I'm gonna cut shorter now because we're gonna sew it, we'll seam it. And then what I do is I take this line and I match it right up with that slit I made. Like so. And then you're gonna get your clip or your pins and just stick those two together. And then you're gonna turn it and basically do the same thing. You're gonna match your waistband is gonna have two slits for it. So you're gonna match those two those two together. And then you're gonna match it with the part of the bummy. And you're gonna line the two line all the lines up in the slit. I like to cut these a little shorter just so they're not in my way and now we're going to take our serger you could take your bummies you could start doing it wherever you want i like to start serging it in the back of my bummies where the seam on my waistband is just so I know that part is completely even and lined up and it won't be crooked. I think that's the most important part that shouldn't be crooked. Um, because if that's not crooked, you can't tell because there's no other seams in your waistband. So I take that, lift my presser foot. So this is the back part, as you can see. This is the seam in my waistband. So I'm going to take this and just put it underneath like so put my presser foot down and what I like to do is I like to pull my fabric at every clip so right here I'm gonna put my finger there and I'm gonna pull it and that should line everything up properly for me and then I'm gonna remove my clip that should still be even and then we're just gonna start seaming and again for this part, I put my fabric right at the end of my serger right here. That's how I line mine up. And you just continue to pull. Then you're gonna remove that clip. And when I get to the part with the clip, I don't pull it tight here, I'm just I'm literally just holding the pieces together. And then once I do that part, I pull. So I surge that part. And now I'm gonna take my fabric and I'm gonna pull it until I get to the next part. Okay, now for this part um, is your preference. You could either get a needle and you could take this part, this extra string, and pretty much pull it through these serge lines here. Or you could take your sewing machine and do a zigzag stitch here. I like to do the zigzag stitch. I just feel like it's more secure. I don't know, even though a lot of people said just taking a needle and pulling this through works wonder for them it's been a safe side 
so it won't come out. I do do the sewing machine and I use a zigzag stitch and I just go over my pieces. Now we're just gonna flip our bummies over and you should have something like this. So now, there's two ways you could do your legs. So the first way is which is the easier way, is you will flip your bummies back inside out. So what you're gonna do is you're going to fold your leg the right way, so right side out, the hot dog way. And then you're gonna fold it in half to find your center once you find your center, I put a clip on my center, like so. So that's my center. And then what you're gonna wanna do is, is, sew this, is clip this center piece to this seam on the bottom of your leg. You wanna make sure that it's upside down on the wrong side of your bummies. So when you look over on the other side, it's the right way. And then you're gonna take this and you're gonna sew it to the bottom piece. We'll clip it to the bottom piece. And then you're gonna take the other side and you're gonna clip it to the other end. And then basically what you would do is you would just serge this whole piece here you see like this so you have to pull it pretty tight so you would take this you'll pull it really tight and then just surge down surge down and after you get it surged down you should have both pan flakes on what you're going to do then is put the bottom piece of your bummies together like so and you're going to just literally surge across and that will put your bummies together um i don't do it that way anymore I did try that first, but I don't like the look of it, so I don't do it that way. So what I do is I take my bummies, put them inside out, and I take my bottom private, the bottom part of the bummies, and I surge this part across. The other way, like I said, is easier to do, but I don't like the look. At the end, I will show you the look, the difference between doing it the easy way and doing it the harder way. I take this and then we're just gonna surge this. So for the harder way, you're basically gonna do the same thing you did for your waistband for your legs. So you're gonna take it, you're gonna fold it hamburger, and then take it and fold a hot dog. And you're gonna do that for full, both pieces and then we're gonna serge the open ends. Make sure they're as even as you could get them. Yeah, cut your pieces off, cut these off, and then do the same exact thing. You're gonna come, you're gonna make your slits and now for your bottom part, you wanna make sure your seam for your leg goes in the inside. So you wanna put it where like the private area is. That's where you want your seat. That's where you're gonna line that part with. And do the same thing. I'm just gonna take these, clip them together, match all your slits and lines, and then surge around just like you did your waistband. It should look something like this. And then always before I surge, if my pattern only goes one way, I usually try to flip it the right way and just kind of pull it to make sure it's going the right way and it's not upside down. And now we are just gonna surge. And again, I always surge 
where the seam is on my waistband or my leg to make sure it stays even. Then once I do that, I start to pull. So I never pull my fabric at the seam. I just do it loosely. Then once I go over the seam, that's when I pull to make sure it stays pretty even and lined up. And then once you serge your other leg, I just cut these off. Like I said, I do finish mine off on my sewing machine. Just zigzag stitch over all the parts that you see these. Um, so I just cut off the extra, extra strings. And then you will flip it the right way. Shake it out. And here you have your bummies and then after you usually go press everything I press all mine at the same time so I'm not gonna press it right now um, but yeah here are the bummies super cute super cute and then you'll make the matching hair bows to go with it okay so now I'm gonna show you the difference between sewing your legs the first way or the second way sew it the first way which basically you take um your leg piece you fold it in half and then you just sew it literally straight across your bottom leg because your open your bottom crotch area is still open so you sew it straight across and then you take your crotch area with your legs and then you sew across the bottom part like that this is what the bottom part of your um, bummies will look like their crotch area and leg area. As you can see, there's a lot. There's a big like seam part. Um, I don't like the look of the legs like this, so I don't do it that way. Um, it doesn't look too different from the outside, but sometimes I feel like you can see you can see that your threads and stuff there, which I don't really like. So now if you sew it the way that we just did, where you sew the leg part first together to make it into a circle and then you pin it to your leg and sew around, um, this is what it looks like inside. So as you can see, there is a difference. It's more flawless. You don't have a big seam part there. Like This is just big and bulky and it doesn't really lay down flat because it's sewn straight across. So this one, since we since we sew the legs on after, it kind of lays the seam part here down, and I think it just looks cleaner. Um, but you could do whatever works for you. I did I did do a few like this just to see, but once I did it the harder way, it doesn't take. It probably takes like two. It probably takes like four minutes more to do it this way. To do it this way than this way, but I think it's worth it. I think it looks better. It looks more professional. This doesn't look really professional to me. I don't know. I don't really like it, but it's your preference. You figure out what you like. But that is how I do the bummies. Um, now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make my bows. So I will have another video for my bows. I just don't want the videos to be too long because I do try to go into as much detail as I can in my videos for you guys. So that's why I'm separating everything into pieces for this. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I am trying to get more videos out. I do have a lot recorded. It's hard because as you can tell, I do have a daughter. And as you can also tell, she is super loud. So I try to film when she's sleeping. But a lot of times I'm at work when she's sleeping, when she's taking her naps. So yeah, and I get home pretty late. So yeah, I'm trying for you guys. Um, so stay tuned for those. If you have any requests. For videos, if you miss something in this video and you want me to go into more detail or show you something closer, please let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.